now students let us uh, go for the next tool that is the twist tree we have learned uh, the things about the single point cutting tool so we can have now the twist tree okay so the drill you can see here the in pictures these are the twist drills and it's showing its diameter here this is the 10 mm uh, drill this is 8 mm drill this is 6 mm drill like that these are the uh, diameters of the drills and these are the twist drills okay so basically the drills are used uh, for producing the hole in a given workpiece and uh, its sole purpose is to remove the maximum volume of the metal in a minimum time period this is the main purpose of uh, the drill okay but the thing is that the finishing obtained by this uh, drill is not up to the uh, mark or not so fine that's why we have to go for uh, the subsequent operations like uh, boring we are having rimming okay so for sizing of the drilling is done, done by the uh, subsequent operations like boring rimming etc so the, the uh, these twist drills are basically are uh, usually made by the high speed steels and the twist drill consists of a cylindrical body carrying the two helical grooves into it to form the flutes okay so basically drills carry these uh, two helical uh, grooves to form a flute and the flute uh, run the full length of the body of the twist drill and perform the following functions what are the functions that can be uh, done by the flutes you can see so the first thing is that uh, they the flutes they provide the rake angle then they form the cutting edges they provide a passage for the coolant also they provide the passage for the removed chips or it facilitates the swap removal you can see here this drill a twist drill the various parts are shown here so this is the body of the drill this is the shank okay and the, you can see here this helical grooves and this is a flute this is the leap of the drill and this is the dead center okay so we can see it now so see here the body so this is the body of the drill so it is a part of the drill that fluted and relieved see the body the part is fluted one yes and you can see here the flutes then the shank definitely this part is going to held in the holding device this is the shank then we are having the dead center this is here this dead center the tip extreme tip okay so dead center or chisel edge of the drill is the sharp edge at the extreme tip end of the drill this is the dead center then lip is what you can see here these are the lips okay these are the lips so lip or cutting edge is formed by the intersection of the flank these are the flanks which are meeting or at the intersection of these flanks we can have this uh, lip or cutting edge okay then the flank the flank is a surface on a drill point which extends behind the lip of the falling so the chisel edge corner the corner formed by the intersection of the lip and the chisel edge is also called as the chisel edge corner so this is a chisel edge okay and the flutes ordered to these are the flute the grooves in the body of the drill which provide the lips these are the flutes okay and these are going to uh, give us the lips okay as already shown in the diagram so look at the various angles of this twist drill the first angle is our rake angle or helix angle here this is our helix angle this is our helix angle okay it is the angle of flute in relation to the work this is the angle of flute with relation to the work it is our helix angle okay 
the smaller the rake angle greater will be the torque required to drive the drill at a given speed and usually value is 30 degree although it can be vary up to 45 uh, degree for different materials next we are having the leaf clearance angle so leaf clearance angle this is the leaf clearance angle is shown here so it is the angle formed by the flank and the plane at right to the drill axis and this angle is um, in most of the cases is 12 degree and in order to allow the strength and rigidity of the cutting edge the clearance angle that should be kept minimum and this is the cutting angle this is the cutting angle you can see here this bigger one this is a cutting angle or a, it is also known as a point angle okay or lip angle also so it is the angle included between the two lips projected upon a place parallel to the drill axis and then parallel to the two cutting lips see this is a, a, actually the included angle yes or no of the cutting lips this is a cutting edge angle and it is observed that the best point angle is 118 degree okay for the hard materials for the soft materials like uh, aluminium copper we can have the values around 45 to 60 degree also we can use for the drilling of these soft materials okay then the chisel edge angle so you can see here this is the chisel edge angle so it is angle included between the chisel edge and the lip as seen from the end of the drill see that's why we have to look at this end of the drill here from bottom you can see this is the end like this is a clearance sorry this is a chisel edge angle now what are the drill specifications you see the drills are made in the three types uh, type n type h and type s so type n for normal low carbon steels type h for hard materials and type s for the soft and tough materials the drill sizes uh, in metric system the drills are made in the diameter from 0.2 millimeter to 100 millimeter in the beginning i show you a few examples of drill uh, where the drill diameter was embossed on the tool now we will see about this cutting speed feed and depth of cut for this drilling operation so what is cutting speed for drilling it is the peripheral speed of the join on the surface of the drill in contact with the workpiece okay so this is the cutting speed and it is usually expressed in terms of meter per minute so for the drill students let us uh, see the cutting speed feed and depth of cut so cutting speed is nothing but the peripheral speed uh, on the drill surface in contact with the workpiece and which is usually expressed in terms of the meter per minute now let us assume that if the D is the diameter of the drill in millimeter and it is rotating with the RPM N then the cutting speed V in meter per minute can be given as V is equal to pi dn by 1000 which is 1000 not 100 okay pi dn by 1000 then it will in meter per minute then feed what is feed so feed is nothing but the distance uh, the distance the drill moves into the work at every revolution of the spindle for one revolution how much depth the drill is achieving into the workpiece is nothing but our feed and definitely it can be measured in mm per uh, revolution that is milli per millimeter per revolution and it can be also measured or expressed as feed per minute okay so this is the feed for the drill 